it is going down. This looks big. This feels big. These two guys got 14 Grammys between the two of them. That pen move, that Damn. production is serious. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Let us hold yeah. one. Let us hold one. Got your research <laughs> together. No <laughs> doubt. One time for Bruno Mars and Anderson Pack, aka <laughs> Six <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Oh, Man, how did this even come together, man? Go ahead, man. You sure? <laughs> go ahead, man. I'm going to let you run with this one. It was a cold Can man. I just, okay, for one ahead. second. <laughs> Listen, I've been waiting my whole career. May I? So, 2017, we go on tour together, all right? That's when I see Anderson and his band, the Free Nationals. I've been a fan. They came on tour. They're killing it. We start hanging out and we start going to the studio. One thing led to it snowballed. We wrote a song together that ended up on your album, Ventura. Yeah. And during quarantine, he came down to the studio, had a song that I thought would sound great with me and him. And then everything just started piling up. It's like, well, that, that was fun. Let's do it again. <laughs> and now we got a whole project. You know, like when you do a session and- May I just interrupt you <laughs> one more time? <laughs> when you start doing sessions and you forget, the, forget about the music and you spend like two hours just laughing and, and joking and stuff, like that's why I knew I was like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm rocking. Like we're gonna make some magic, you know what I'm saying? That's how y'all knew it felt good. Yeah. So you did, you it's, said y'all toured fun. together, obviously. We know that y'all are big on when it comes to tours and live performances. So did, was there any hesitation when it came to like putting this project out? Cause we're still mid quarantine pandemic and all that stuff. A lot of artists have pushed their albums back like Drake and stuff like that. Was that any of a factor when it came to this for you too? Yeah, it's sad because we come from a live background. We've been performing live our whole life and going to the studio and writing a song with the dream, like one day we're going to perform this on stage. Right. That's the kind of the victory lap. So for me, before Andy came along, it, was, it got a little hazy in the studio because that's what I love to do. Then Andy came, comes along and all of a sudden it's like being a kid again and we're in the garage and I'm playing guitar and he's playing the drums and we just uh, working out these parts and try to make the best songs we possibly can and just had a ball doing it. Got you. And, and the first offer and leave the door open is a great place to start. But before mm -hmm. we even get there, the name's Silk Sonic. It rolls off the tongue. Right. Great fly name. <laughs> uh, before y'all touched and agreed on what the name was going to be, what names didn't make it? It was a few. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Elastic Opportunity. Elastic Opportunity. Um, Silk Colonic. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> um, Newports and, uh, and, and, and Heartbreak. Newports and Heartbreak. No. Yeah, that was one of them. That's a vibe. Yeah. That's a vibe. Uh, uh, it was, it keep was, going, it keep was going. a lot of ones. A oh, couple listen, of them was oh, in Spanish. Let's see. <laughs> a couple of Spanish joints. A couple yeah. of them was in Spanish. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, and then, you know, Bootsy came in. He was like, no, Bubba. You gotta do it like this, you know. He heard the music and he just was like, "It sound like Silk Sonic," you know. Andy, you Silk, Bruno, you Sonic. We took it. Yeah. I feel like it's a perfect collaboration with y'all too. And like you said in the studio, you said it was like fun. Y'all was laughing the whole time. Tell us a little bit more about the experience in the studio, like the best night that y'all might have had in the studio. That was one night we had to work. <laughs> And we didn't work. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> out. yeah, yeah. we were sitting outside for hours, just having fun and drinking and talking shit. And that's 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 how you know things are gonna go all right. Yeah, you know, because if you could do that, yeah, and it's important. It's important that it's it's not all business. Like, hey, we gotta get. You know, we gotta we gotta have fun. That's why we signed up to be musicians in the first place. Right. And, one of the I, first sessions I did was on my birthday. I just I came really? in there. He was working. He's like drunk as hell. <laughs> That's my birthday. No, he was <laughs> I mean, to give be him a sober break. As hell. I wish I recorded the stuff he was saying. He and he recorded one of the songs on our album. And every time after a take, he'd be like, "Tell me I'm not the best in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me I'm not Listen, the best in the game." You only turned twenty five once. <laughs> 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 I feel a young and vibrant. Oh, is that what we're doing? Was, was, Time know, traveling and lying. It was my, lying. <laughs> it was my birthday, group. you know, feeling myself. <laughs> you know? Yo, that's what's up. So, like, you know, the record, leave the door open. Uh, this is the type of record that raises the population rate. 
but we'll get pregnant. No. Where were you when the baby boom of 2021 dropped, Let's you know, go. on March 5th? You know, if you guys could leave the door open for anybody in pop culture, who would you leave the door open for? Oh, my God. Whoa. What's going on, man? What's going we on? We just trying to. We just trying to. We know what you're doing. We're just trying to. <laughs> we know a sound bite you. We just so hardworking music, <laughs> and you got a lot of nerve. And you just a say? whole lot of you nerve. You just gotta. <laughs> Time we and life. The door open for our ladies. Yeah, That's you know we're gonna leave the door open. You know what I'm saying for our for our baby baby girls. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> leave it open. You know. Um, That's years of PR training at work right there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Well, I got to say it. <laughs> I hope the cameras are rolling when you guys were in the studio because I feel like this is more than an album. This seems like a TV show. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You know what's weird is that I've, since the beginning, that's not my style. And I always wish, like, dang, I wish we would have captured that because that'd be nice to have an archive. You've no, no one ever seen it. It'd be nice to have. But I think the creative process is so important to keep sacred. You know, we go through hell so the world can experience it in a way that we didn't have to. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like that's not the world's job to know how crazy we went on drum tones and melody changes and lyric changes. Our job is supposed to let everyone enjoy it. We don't want to ruin it for y'all. Okay? Yeah. So you know what? <laughs> so no arguments team. happen. Like no creative difference oh. in there. Yeah. Uh, it, it goes down. <laughs> uh, trust me. Switch blades, trust butterfly me, nines. <laughs> trust me. Indian burns. There's a lot going on, you know what I'm saying? How do y'all solve your differences when y'all do clash? Do y'all settle it with a dance battle or like, you know, like what happened? I pull out the Glock. A fair one. A fair one. You you know what a fair one is? You know what a fair one is? <laughs> we, we, shoot, we shoot the fair one. And, you know, we come out of that, you know, apologies is just handed out, this and that. And, you know, sometimes we come out with a song sometimes. Yeah. I was wrong. Maybe. That's you know my saying? bad. That's my bad. That was me. I didn't even, this is a different song. You know what I'm saying? But you sometimes you might have to get physical sometimes. You get no, it's simple. You just argue it out. Yeah, yeah. You just beef it out until it's like... He always going to plead his... He always going to be like, this is why it's got to be this way. And I'm telling you, blah, blah. And we and I'm always like thinking about, you know, some far out idea. Maybe we should try this. And he always going to be like, okay, why do you want to do that? Andy Art, let's try it. And if it don't work, sometimes it might work. Sometimes you take a day and, and come the, back. Yeah. Oh. And then the truth is when it's right, it's unanimous. Yeah, you just know. So, you look so at basically, each other. Yeah. yeah. So it's all the arguing is a waste. Mm -hmm. It's just <laughs> okay. like a waste of time. That's how you know it's not really working. If it's like, yeah, it just means it's not working. Because because when you land on that magic, there's nothing to say. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Bruno, you've always paid a lot of homage when it came to R&B, soul, and 90s R&B artists that have influenced you in your career. But at one point in time, you did have some people saying it was cultural appropriation. Now, does that bother you when there's artists like Justin Timberlake or uh, Justin Bieber that they don't say those kind of things about? And I guess maybe because your background and they were a little confused about what you are like me. People do that with me often. So, so you know what it's like. Yeah, did that you know bother what it's like you? When the, when the first thing people ask is, what are you? Yes. That's right? always the first question. That's always the first question. Mm -hmm. and, it's not, uh, and you know, I'm Bruno Mars. <laughs> that's what I am. That boy star. That's what, and that's what I am. That boy star. That's it. That boy moon I work real hard to be Bruno Mars. Damn it. And that's what I am. And listen. <laughs> I, you know, I am a product of my environment. I grew up loving this music. I grew up loving... Uh, Babyface, Jimmy Jam, Terry Lewis, these guys, yeah, I was a kid. And when you're trying to be a musician as a kid, you see Bobby Brown, you see Michael Jackson, and you're looking at them and you're saying, that's what it takes to be a star. Then right. that's no different than if you are watching Michael Jordan play. If that's what it takes, then that's what I gotta, that's what I gotta figure out. I gotta learn how to do that jump shot because I wanna be in the NBA one day. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was, a baby with my socks on doing a moonwalk because <laughs> that's how music works. Music is, is all about inspiration. Mm -hmm. And you'll hear, and I have no problem, I wear my inspiration on my sleeve, you'll hear it on this album. If they, uh, there's a reason, why did these guys do this if we can't learn from it? That's right. Vince Collins created the blueprint on what a superstar is. And why would you, why would you not see that and and say, okay, well, why? And, and think about it. Why is Bootsy? Why is Bootsy Collins a superstar? Everything, the vibe, the glasses, the the the, the swag, the 
the songs are incredible. And that's, this, this music comes from love. And if you can't hear that, I don't know what to tell you. No. And a lot of artists did defend you like Charlie Wilson. They, you know, they definitely mm -hmm. had your back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I you love them guys. <laughs> And the musicianship, you know, bleeds through in everything you guys do. You know, I know you guys are both big music heads. I mean, I'll start with you, Anderson. What was the first record you heard that changed your life? Same thing for you, Bruno. First record that changed my life is probably, um, the butterfly, uh-uh, that's oh. Let me see you, Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll. Tootsie Roll. Oh, wait. Tussie. I was hey. like, wait, the butterfly. I just learned the butterfly. Man, that was, no, that's, you oh. Brought me, you brought me back to middle school. Yeah, that's yeah, like, that was you know what I'm saying? I was trying to get freaked on. I was in like fifth grade. Yeah. Yeah. Didn't know what he was saying. Exactly. When she was in middle school, like, dun, dun, need that dun, energy. Dun, dun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what was the record for you, Bruno? Man, Two Life Crew was a big inspiration for me. But the first record, like growing up, I, I mean, my dad put me onto Motown. So I got to say, like, it had to be um, Jackson 5 or, 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 or you know, Little Richard. Was, I was a big fan of Little Richard growing up, Jackie Wilson, uh, Frankie Lyman. My dad was big into doo wop and, and Motown and soul, Philly soul. Uh, so those are the records that I grew up listening to because of my father. We chopping up with 600 <laughs> right now. Beats, flows, and clothes as well. Um, you know, Bruno Mars, you got this uh, collab coming through with Lacoste and a few. What kind of drip can we expect? I'm doing big things. <laughs> big, 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 big business. Briefcase business. I got a briefcase. That boy be coming to the studio with the big briefcase now. Really? <laughs> I call him a little tiny tycoon. What's in the briefcase? Because when he come through, he just get all the land. He just, you know. A I'm calculator. Saying. That's all that's in the briefcase. <laughs> <laughs> a, a lint roller. A lint roller, a calculator. Roller and a calculator. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And some smoke. Some smoke. Some Greek. <laughs> some Greek. No, Lacoste, look, I've been very fortunate to um, been asked to do collaborations before in the past, but it always came with like these guidelines. Like basically it was like, we just want you to wear this and you know, support this. And I was like, well, I wouldn't wear that. So that's not really my thing. Lacoste was the first brand that um, said to me, Bruno, you could do whatever you want. And I said, really? You don't say. And it's, it started off just, you know, drawing up some shapes and stuff. And I told him, well, if I, I want to be able to wear this stuff, but I wouldn't wear it if it said Bruno Mars, because that's like tour merch. I need a designer name. I need a fancy designer name. So I dreamt up Ricky Regal. And uh, they've been nothing but supportive. And I think the clothes came out beautiful. So literally just went to sleep, woke up with the name. Kind of. <laughs> like that. Also, because it's just it's like, let's have some fun. Yep. It don't got to be, you know, let's have some fun, and especially in the, in the, fa the fashion world could be very, they're very serious and they should be, but we like having clothes that flow and move and, and, and I wanted to have fun with this whole thing or there's no point. For me, if you're not having fun, then it's, it, there's no point in doing it. Mm -hmm. So I, 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 I told Lacoste that in the very beginning stage, it's like, yo, this has to be fun. The clothes have to be fun. We have to have a good time with the campaign, and we have to have a good time. Someone just popped up on the screen. Look at that. Y'all got a spy. What's going on here? What's, what happened? Usually when you see them, it means it's time. Enhance. Enhance. So I'm so, sorry, but we have to no worry. wrap up. Okay. Silk Sonic is the project. The single leader door open drops Friday, March 5th. We pumping that all the way to the moon. Can we get an exclusive on the name of the full project? The project is called An Evening with Silk Sonic with special guest host Bootsy, Bootsy Collins. Collins. Ah, yeah. The set list of doom, bro. The set list of doom. Let's get everybody Cheers to you guys. and pregnant. Salute Whoa. to you. <laughs> <laughs> sir, sir. Sir. Omar, Silk Sonic. Peace uh, and love, y'all. Yeah. Peace. We, we are the morning hustle.